Hello, hello. Welcome back, everyone, to New Vice City. Uh, I'm Skills That Kills. I want to do a really short episode today um, just because I saw an issue with one of my trumpet interchanges and uh, it reminded me of a, a good topic to talk about, and that's lane math. Uh, if we move to this trumpet inter interchange up here, you can see that we got to back up because we have three lanes branching off into two lanes. Uh, and then over here, we have one lane merging with three lanes, but the result is still three lanes. Uh, and this does not help the traffic AI in the game. Uh, and that's where lane math comes into play. And it's basically that the lanes should add up. So if I have three lanes and I'm branching them off, the resulting branches should add up to three. If I have a lane, a single lane merging with three other lanes, the resulting lane should add up to four. And that's so there's always a path that the AI has to take. Um, for this particular trumpet interchange, because I also have a lane branching off here, I'm thinking that I'll bring this down to two lanes. And when this one merges back, it'll go back up to three lanes. Ditto for this lane over here. So let's give that a shot. Uh, I do have the mass transit DLC. So you would need that to get a two lane highway. But what I'm gonna do now is also, I'm gonna use the, the node tool to uh, see if I can't make this a little less ugly looking. Mm, maybe not. Eh, problem for another day. For now, let's get back to lane math. Okay, so I'm in my road tool. I'm on the highway section. I'm looking at two lane roads. Okay, so I'm gonna pick the two lane highway. And this is one way, correct? And so we have three lanes going here. Um, so we're gonna break off two to the left, one to the right. Okay. And so now, oh, we got one more. There we go. And actually that makes the intersection look a little better. Use the movement mod to kind of work out the kinks there. If you ever get these patches like this where like the uh, the ground is poking through, just use the movement mod and kind of jiggle things around. It'll usually work out in the end. Uh, we can also use the lane intersection marking tool to get these lines back up. And I'm moving this by holding control as I click. Boom. So these two left lanes will go up here. Oops. Hmm. This probably should not be a separate node. Hmm, that didn't do anything. So we'll just mark this one up too. And this lane will go that way. And then we'll use the awesome, awesome fill capabilities of this tool. I always go with the Chevron. There we go. That's pretty. And then just to be sure, let's make sure the AI know where to go. Cool. Okay. So, and we can do something similar there later, but we now have a dedicated turning lane and then two dedicated left turning lanes. So now let's go back over here. I'm now realizing that uh, if I want to bring this down to two lanes and still have two lanes here, then uh, this resulting lane should be four lanes, which I'm pretty sure I have. And then eventually uh, what I can do is give it a, like a long enough runway to merge it back down to three, which is what I did somewhere over here. Yeah, right here. I had a three lane highway and then you give them a long stretch to merge it back down to two. That's usually okay. But for now, we're going to uh, replace this part with another two lane highway. So this, this one, if you can see it, becomes a, dedica a dedicated right turning lane. And then when these merge back up, the result should be temporarily a four lane highway right here. That should be enough space. And then to kind of elongate this 
first of all, let's square it up and then pull this way back. That should be enough room, and I can mark that with the lane intersection marking tool again. There should be enough to, uh, to give them room to merge. And then this is kind of ugly. Let's square this up too. And back to the marking tool. So this thing will go there, this thing will go there, and these two lanes will go to the left. And so now everyone has a lane that they can go to. Let's fill this up. Oop. Chevron, oh, it's already in the right direction. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so now if we hit play, these cars should stop uh, backing up. Now, there's one thing, uh, these nodes were very close together and usually, yeah, you can see that car slowed down for no reason. Usually that means that the nodes, yeah, are just way too close together. I'm not sure how to. Undo that usually. Okay, maybe. Nope, still there. Let me bring this back. Mm, I don't want to. That looks ugly. Let's see how that behaves. Okay, that car went straight through, so I think we fixed it. Mm, even though that's looking a little wonky again. But let's look over here. So each lane has their own turning lane, and they are flagrantly violating it. That's okay. Uh, and so far, so good. This is not causing problems. Uh, we can also use like a, more intersection markings to kind of alert the drivers that, hey, the right lane is about to end. And then we can do something similar for this lane, even though right now there's not really a problem because not as many uh, cars are going to the airport as... Actually, I don't know, it looks pretty equivalent, but yeah, for now it's not a problem. I will, however, update in the background. But yeah. Just wanted to do a quick video. That is lane mathematics, and right now, things are looking really good. Let's take a look at our traffic flow. 81%. That is a new record since the early days where all I had was the old city. Love it. All right. Well, thanks for joining, guys. I'll see you all later.